Got some pretty birds out here this morning. Got some ibises. A little egret. Got some pelicans out there on the dock. A little seagull right there on the railing. Bunch of seagulls in the air. Pretty morning, y'all. Pretty morning. All right, Jetty Rockers. Well, we are off. We are in the boat now. It is 7.50 in the morning. So I'm getting a pretty good start. I actually sat there and talked to a, a fellow captain, a you know, charter captain around here. So I haven't talked to him for a while. Had a good conversation. But uh, we're going to head out this morning. I think I'm going to try to go offshore and do some bottom fishing around the local reefs out here. That's going to be my main goal, but I do see some Spanish jumping, so I may try to troll the plug around and see if I can't catch some Spanish. So let's see what happens, y'all. Well, guys, I got one. Didn't even realize I hooked him. I hooked him on the top of the head. But there we go, Spanish. We got one. First fish of the day. They are here, but they are not really hitting my plug. All right, nice little Spanish. We'll take him. I'm pretty sure he's legal. Oh yeah, he's 15 inches. All right, cool. Alrighty, got something. I got it. hooked up. I'm only running towards me. Come on, buddy. That's a little guy. That's a little dude. That's a little bitty Spanish. Little little bitty one. All right, well, they're in here today. They are in here today. All righty, cool. All right, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm just slow trolling this. I'm in the no wake zone. I can't go fast yet. Can't get on a plane. So I hit that marker, and I've already caught two fish. So not a really a bad deal, trolling no wake zones. All right, guys, hooked up again. Feels like a little bit better fish. I don't think it's as big as the first one though. It's fighting a little better. Come on, fight it, baby. I haven't even made it out of the no egg zone yet. Look at this little guy. A little blue fish. Alright, a little blue. Oh, cool, and he's gone. Awesome. Quick release. Alright. That was fun. I haven't even really started fishing yet and I already caught three fish. All right guys, well we made it out here and it is slick, calm. It is beautiful out here. It is gorgeous. Well, we're going to send down some live shrimp. That's what I'm going to start out with. I'm also going to put a flat line out with a herring and maybe put something on the bottom. Because last time I was here, I was getting broke off by something big and they weren't sharks. So hopefully we can find out what that was. But uh, we're going to get to it, guys. Hopefully we'll start catching something. All right, first bait going down. Looking for some porgies, some lane snapper, sheep's head. Mango snapper. Something along that lines. And I'm sure we might cut some red ones. Alright guys, I got something. I don't know what this is. It's fighting weird. This fish starting strange. What is that? Oh, big old pig fish. Uh, first fish of the day is a giant piggly wiggly. It's a big old pig though. I don't know if I should save him from my crab traps or not. Alright guys, well I made a long move. A few people out here. I went about two and a half more miles. Hopefully, I'm in like 70 feet of water now. Hopefully, I'll catch something because I have not caught anything all day. 
So hopefully things will change. Let's see what happens. Guys, I'm finally hooked up with a good fish, finally. It's a pretty good fish right here. Oh, what is this? But it's a red one. Oh yeah. Big old red one. Nice red one. All right, we got a red snapper. Decent size one too. The old non-exist fish. Apparently, state of Florida thinks we don't have enough of those. <laughs> I think somebody's got some wrong math. All right. Hooked up. Oh no. There he is. Oh, shiny red. Oh, shiny red one. Eight my circle hook. Eight my circle hook. All right. I have to give you, give you a hook, cause I ain't doing surgery on you. All right. See you later, buddy. Bye. Wasn't sure if you wanted to go down, huh? All right guys, while I'm using, I'm just using a simple fish finder rig. I'm using a one and a half ounce weight, about two foot of 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader, live shrimp with a one ounce circle hook, 30 pound test on my main line. This is my pin class 6,000 on my Bulls Bay rod, which is about a, a 6.6 rod, medium heavy action. And it works great. All right guys, hooked up with another one. Whoa, that's a nice little fish. I'm just a fighter. Oh yeah, nice fighting fish. I get my line all tangled up. You still hit it. All right, nice little red one. See you, buddy. Well, guys, this is a much better spot. I've got three fish, and I've only been here ten minutes, so. The other two spots I went to, I fished three hours and caught nothing. <laughs> so let's see what uh, if we can get another one real quick. All right, come on, red ones. There you go. That's a good fish. That's a good one. Oh, that's a better one yet. That's the best one yet. If I can get him up, come on. The best one yet. Oh man, that's a good fish. I right, got him up this time. I got him up now. Probably just gonna be a big old red one. Oh yeah, I can see him. Nice size red one. Look at that sucker. Oh yeah, again my line got all tangled up. What is going on with that? That's a good red one right there. All right, come on. Let me get you on the hook. All right, guys. That's a nice size red one right there. See you, buddy. See you later. Whew. Holy moly. Well, that was a nice one. Let's see if we can get another one like that. All right, I'm on the bottom. Come on. There he is. There he is. Oh gosh. Oh. I think he just came on hook. I think he just came on. Yep, just came on hooked up. Hooked up. I think this is number five. Number five. He ain't the biggest one, but still a red one. What's up, buddy bud? Alrighty, pretty, pretty, pretty fish. See you, buddy. 
All righty. This is too much fun. This is way too much fun. Come on. There he is. There he is. Oh. Not the biggest one I've hooked today, but he ain't bad. Come on there, buddy. Another red one. That is the smallest one today. The smallest red. Oh, splashed him right in my eye. Right in my eye. Little guy. See you, buddy. Alrighty. Well, that's number six, I think. I'd like to get 10. I get catch 10, I'll probably just go ahead and call it a day. Unless I start catching some lanes or some mangroves. He's already on it. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good one. That's a better one. Man, this is too much fun. Oh, just another red one. And he swallowed it. Looks like he's got my other line in this. He's one of the ones that cut me off earlier. All right, let me see if I can't get some of these lines off of him. But hey, that's a nice looking fish. Well, guys, this fish right here had, well, that fish right there had two different lines in him. The line I just caught him on and one that I hooked him on earlier and he cut me off on something. But that just goes to show you that they will survive if they break off. You throw them back, they'll come back and eat. These fish are crazy. All right, dropping another one down. This reef is just absolutely overrun with these things. He's already on. There he is. That's a, that's a good one. Absolutely overrun with these things. Oops, still a red one. I was hoping that was going to be a big lane. Oh, that I was hoping. It was like, literally like fishing in a barrel out here. It is literally like catching fish in a barrel when it comes to these red snapper. See you, brother. All right. Dropping it back down 70 feet. There he is. Come on. Oh, get out of there. Oh, I got you up now. Come on. I just know one of these is going to be a lane. One of these times. One of these times, one of these is going to be a lane. Another red one. One more of the in danger, don't exist. We don't have enough red snapper fish. All right, get it. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, golly. Get up out of there. Oh. I got you up now. That's a good one right there. Look at that cannonball. That's a good one. He was a fighting sucker right there, buddy. Oh, come on. All right, look at that bad boy. They are a pretty fish. Yeah, I can see you. His eyes are moving to watch me. Yeah, I see you watching me. See you later, buddy. See ya. It's funny how you come out here. I spent two hours, absolutely caught nothing for two, two and a half hours. Was kind of having a bummy day. I was like, man, this stinks. I make one significant move and my day is completely turned around. Completely turned around. It's every single drop.
every single drop. Look at all these cannonball jellies everywhere. See you later, buddy. All right, let's do this again. already on it already that fast y'all oh get up look how pretty them things are in the water absolutely a beautiful fish did he need to swallow it again dog on it all right. All right, righty. You get to keep the jewelry. It'll rust out in a couple days. See you, brother. Here we go again. I cannot believe how many cannonball jellyfish are out here. They are everywhere. It's about as many cannonballs as there is red snapper, but we don't have no red snapper. That's something little there. What is that? Uh, did we catch something different than a red one? Yeah, we caught a grunt. Imagine that. How about that? Caught something different. I got past the red snapper and caught a grunt. All right, hooked up. Come on, buddy. There he is. I can't tell if you swallowed it or not. Hey, swallowed it. All right, buddy, just hold your horses and I'll let you go. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. There you go. See you later, buddy. All right, guys, I got a good one right here. Yeah, this is a good one. This one's got some fight to him. Yeah, this is a good one. Oh, yeah. Come here, buddy. He thought he was the man. Again, he swallowed my hog on hook. Someone tells you. The red snapper will not swallow a circle hook. They are not telling you the truth. They will swallow a circle hook. Circle hooks are not guaranteed to catch fish in the corner of the mouth. I can promise you that. All right, see you later, buddy. All right. I don't even know how many that is anymore. Caught so many. All right, guys, we're gonna put this big old jumbo shrimp down for the go home fish. All right, let's see what we can do. Come on, go home, fish. All right. There he is. He's on it. There he is. Get it. Oh, my gosh. These little grunts down there now messing with everything. There we go. Oh, there's a go-home fish. There's the go-home fish. That's the go-home fish. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Any go-home fish cut me off. Well, yep, he cut my hook off. Well, guys, that's it. I'm still going home. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see the sea turtle just sitting right here. Oh, look at him. He's going to get close. Oh, he's so pretty. Just sitting there sunning himself. Looking at them cannonball jellyfish. That's what he's doing. He's going right towards one right now. He's looking for jellyfish. That is super cool. All right, Jetty Rockers, that's going to be our day. It's right now 11.58. So I'm really glad I took that extra two miles, made that move, and actually caught some fish today. 
I'm pretty happy the way the day turned out. Started off really slow, but I never gave up and we caught some fish. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And thank you for all you subscribers. I know I say this every video, but you guys are awesome. And I really appreciate you all very much. Until I see you all again, tie lines, Jetty Rockers.